I think the, this question has, uh, the answer has two levels. One is obviously sort of farsightedness in terms of the social broader sort of perspective that everybody, including investors, have. And I think this is something that we've seen with respect to other issues in the past and sort of comes now with respect to the carbon debate now. That's the broader, if you want, perspective. The narrower one, which I think can be highly motivating for them, is that uh, currently uh, carbon is mispriced. It's priced very low and uh, very likely through concerted government actions in individual countries as well as globally, it's going to be priced properly, meaning that it's going to be uh, taxed and subsidies will be gradually removed. That means that there will be real investment opportunities for those who foresee this uh, earlier than others. And this is where savvy investors will come in. And our conference today, in fact, indicated that there are already some substantial investors uh, representing over six trillion dollars in assets under management who are aware of it and are taking the first steps in that direction. So it depends a little bit on the type of investor, what their strategies are, what type of investments they normally do. But I think there is a whole variety. There is, of course, for the uh, pension funds and sovereign wealth funds who go for broad, diversified, long-term investments. I think for them it's an issue of having perhaps some green bonds, having a shift towards equities that are more in uh, uh, sensitive sectors which will benefit in the long run from the adjustment in public policy all the way to investors who go for individual projects. And there it was interesting to have, in fact, the uh, uh, statements and indications during the conference that there is work now being done by the World Bank and others in trying to identify individual projects that will have high rate of return and yet are socially desirable from the standpoint of reducing the carbon exposure. So I think there's a whole spectrum of investments that different types of investors can focus on and that can suit their investment strategies. So I think, again, there are a couple of ways that this will help. One is the general uh, increase in information, the conscientization among investors that things are happening, that there is an evolution, and a provision, if you want, of strategies and possible approaches that can be done. And uh, there is strength, there is power, there is benefit in coordinating actions. So having an entire platform to which the investors can, or they can join or uh, take advantage of in particular ways will, I think, speed up the whole process of the investment community joining in and, in fact, uh, playing the game where they are realizing that the future is one. There will be much less carbon uh, in the economy.